Hello and welcome, Leo. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Leo, we are doing things a little bit differently this week. Um, this particular reading is going to be for all my singles out there. So for those of you who are single and looking for love, this reading is for you. Um, now you're probably thinking, okay, but I'm in a relationship or I'm in, you know, a separation with somebody. So to cover all bases and to give all of my people, hopefully all the answers that they are searching for, I have some more videos coming out this week. The second one is going to be for those of you who are in a relationship. And the third one is going to be for those of you who are in a separation, looking for some answers or to see if there's going to be a reconciliation. So, all right, Leo singles, let's go ahead and let's get into this and see what is coming in for love are you gonna find that person what kind of person are you gonna find and where Leo's all right okay all right so this is a 10 card spread so I will do my best to get all the cards in frame Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so Leo's, you guys are wanting to leave the past in the past and move forward. It's like you're done. Like I don't. Uh. Uh. No more exes. No more past. Like just nope. I want new. All right, so Leo's, why haven't you found this person yet? Well, because you're too much in your head. I think a lot of you, um, with the Eight of Swords here, are still kind of going back and forth. A lot of you are very guarded. Um, not really putting yourself out there and like I said just kind of blinded like um, it's almost like you're overstressed and really worried about if like this is your person or not okay sorry for the train guys um, all right but it just feels like for some of you it almost feels like you're scared of making the wrong choice or the wrong decision or you're like second guessing yourself like is this really going to be the person for me um, because it feels like a lot of you have kind of you feel like you made the wrong um, decisions in the past about like certain people and you're just like oh my gosh I don't ever want to go through that again like you know or maybe you're just thinking like I always attract crazy people <laughs> like you know whatever the case is um, you know Leo just remember we all meet who we meet for a reason you know we just we grow from it we learn from it we move on and that's kind of what you need to do is just you know kind of get out of your head don't stress over this you're gonna meet the person when it's time that is the most important thing here so you know that's just kind of the reason you haven't found them like I said just don't stress out over you know everything leave the past in the past because it does feel like you know you've been trying to do some work here you've been trying to change some things um, it's like you don't want to repeat mistakes or repeat cycles is what I keep getting so yeah so definitely wanting to move forward all right, so again, as I'm saying that, you know, how to overcome this, you know, feeling stuck in your head, you know, scared of repeating um, cycles or, you know, past mistakes, you know, whatever your case is, whatever your situation is, um, it's, it's moving forward. You know, it's going ahead, you know, kind of clearing up your head as much as you can, putting those swords aside, not letting them, you know, keep you surrounded anymore, not letting them keeping you bound, taking that blindfold off, seeing things for what they really are. Um, you know, kind of just, it's that mental clarity. You know, it's not putting those rose colored glasses on, noticing red flags. If something's not for you, it's not for you. Not trying to make a a square peg fit in, you know, around a round hole, you know, whatever, the, whatever, <laughs> you know, it's like not trying to make something fit. That's never going to, uh, you know, or, or just like, you know, with relationships, like you've been trying and trying to make something work and it's just like not going to. And, you know, Leo, it's hard for you to just kind of give up or say, I'm done. You want to keep, keep working at it. And it's like, you know, now that's could be some see it as a flaw, you know, but I mean, it's just, it's putting that past, it's saying, you know what, this isn't going to work. I know what I'm looking for, and I don't deserve anything less. So now what can you do to meet them? Four of Swords, definitely, like I said, get out of your head. Um, stop stressing. You know, do, do some meditations. Just kind of, you know, rest, relax. Um, this is really all about a lot of Swords here. There's a lot of mental anguish and a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, you know, really being in your head here. Um, a lot of worries, a lot of, you know, thoughts. Like I said, it feels like the past is really kind of keeping you back, you know, from moving forward or moving on or 
because it just feels like you're really kind of stuck. Like you're somebody here, um, or a few of you here are really, really stressed out about repeating past cycles. And it's like you want to find somebody completely new, but how do I do that is what I keep getting. So now, how are you going to know them? And it's almost like with the Sun card, it's because they're going to make you happy. You're going to know this person is for you by the way you feel. You know, how do you feel with this person? Is this person making you happy? Is this person trying? You know, Leo, this is your card, the Sun card here. So, you know, for those of you, you could be dating another Leo. Um, for others of you, this is just, you know, knowing that... I don't, how do I say that? Like, it almost feels like something just kind of, you know, hits you. It's like this light, you know, like you hear the angels just kind of sing, like when you meet this person, you know, it's just like there's this connection. This person makes you feel good. They make you feel happy. You know, they're trying. Um, and it just feels like you feel really warm and really welcome with this person, very comfortable with this person. So, you know, that's definitely going to be, you know, how you know that this is your person. So now where are you going to find them? The Queen of Swords, for some of you, it feels like, I don't know why I keep getting this, but it almost feels like your person is at a distance. For some of you, it almost feels like um, you're traveling. So you could have possibly met online, um, you know, some kind of like dating app. And it feels like you're traveling to go see the person. For others of you, it's almost like you've been here, like right in front of my eyes all this time. Why haven't I noticed you? So, you know, take that how it resonates. But it almost feels, like I said, for some of you, like this person is a lot closer than what you think. This could be a friend. This could be, um, you know, a friend of a friend, like someone kind of in your own circle, um, someone you work with. You know, it, it's somebody who, like I said, really just kind of feels close, even like a family friend, or maybe it's your sister's friend, your brother's friend, you know, whatever the case is. It just feels like somebody um, that you kind of, it's like, you've been here this entire time. Why have we, you know, why have I not let you in? You know, why has this not clicked before? Like, you know, we're really vibing. I really like you. I really feel comfortable with you. But it's like somebody kind of finally, you know, takes off the veil or the blindfold and they really see things for what it is. And it's like, you've been here this entire time. So for some of you, like I said, it's a lot closer at home than what you think. For others of you, it is at a distance because I feel like you've met on like a dating app or online, something along those lines. Okay, so now your hopes with this world card, like I said, you want to close out cycles. You don't want to keep repeating cycles. You want victory. You want success. You want this to last. You want this to be long term. You want this relationship to be successful. That is your biggest hope here. All right, now with um, any guidance or tips, we have the star card. So, you know, your person may very well be an Aquarius. Or your person um, could just be, you know, your wish upon a star. You know, something that's kind of written in the stars. Your person could bring about some kind of healing for you. Or maybe it's because, you know, you haven't met this person yet because you needed to do some healing. So, again, you know, it's going to resonate differently with everybody because this is a general reading. So, you know, take, take how it's resonating and just leave the rest. So, but yeah, definitely some good tips there. All right, so now your first impression about this person, three of wands, like I said, for some of you, it's this person does kind of live at a, you know, a distance, so there's going to be kind of that, um, that bump in the road, like, okay, well, how are we going to make this work? You know, there's going to be some questions, like, can we make this work? Um, so definitely, like I said, a little bump in the road, um, you know, a little hiccup along the way, but you find a way. But your first impression is also like, this is your next opportunity, like, this is my next, you know, big thing. It's almost like, you know, a door's opening. It's like, okay, I've been waiting for this. So what are you going to do? Are you going to move forward or are you going to let the past hold you? All right, now the common bond that you have with this person, um, it does feel like you both are very kind of young at heart, um, very kind of flirty, um, intelligent, uh, I'm getting quick-witted. <laughs> there could be some, um, like, a lot of sarcasm, but it's like, you know, you, you get it, they get it, so it's like no feelings hurt, just it's how we communicate, it's it's fun, you know, type of situation. Um, I am getting, like, a lot of late-night talks or a lot of, um, like, text or just, you know, so I keep getting something like that, so, and I think that's for a lot of you who are kind of, you know, at a distance with this person, um, but it's, I don't know, I 
it's kind of resonating for everybody's situation, really, because it just feels like communication is really good with this person. Yeah, it feels like it kind of takes a while to kind of uh, get this person to open up, or maybe this is you I'm picking up on, Leo. Um, there is going to be a lot of communication, a lot of good communication, but it's like it takes you guys a while to really open up as far as like, you know, feelings, emotions, but it's like, we have a lot of fun. We kind of flirt. It's just kind of, you know, laid back, you know, kind of comfortable, nothing too, um, too serious right off the bat. So, all right. Now, some more advice I have to give to you guys for the 10 of swords. <sighs> for some, for a lot of you, is what I'm getting. And this came out to, um, I think it was for Sagittarius or for Aries. I think it was Sagittarius. But the Ten of Swords, you know, this is definitely talking about just feeling hurt. Like I said, it really kind of feels like the past has held you guys back or really kind of put you in your head. You know, do we all take a chance on getting hurt every time we enter a new relationship? Yeah, we do. You know, is it always worth it? No. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, that's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we know what it is that we're looking for and what we want down the road. You know, what we want for, you know, life term. Do we want, you know, a lifelong person or do we just want to be by ourselves and casually date? You know, everybody is different. Not everybody believes in commitment. So this is kind of like getting you to realize what it is that you want to kind of grow, to ask yourself, what is it that you're looking for, Leo? What is it that you want? What is it that you expect from, you know, your person? And it's saying to just kind of be upfront with them, you know, talk about that, communicate with them. Like I said, for some of you, this is going to be some hurdles. You know, um, especially for those of you at a distance, you know, this is going to be some hurdles. It's going to be, you know, kind of having to move mountains at times is what it feels like. Uh, you know, so it's just kind of like it can go 50-50, you know. And I'm saying that because this is a Ten of Swords. So it's not going to be easy, you know, during this relationship for some of you. You know, for others of you, like I said, I, I'm getting that this is the past still kind of holding you back, still kind of weighing on you. And that's what's keeping you from moving forward. For others of you, like I said, this relationship is just really going to take some work. And I think it's going to be mostly the majority of the ones who are at a distance. We're going to have to get creative. And like I said, just, you know, figure out how to make things work. And I think that's why we could be communicating a lot more and why we're just kind of taking things a little bit slowly. So, all right, Leo, that is what I have for you, for you single guys out there, single guys and girls out there, I should say. Um, so I do hope this helps your situation. And again, there's going to be a part two and three. So keep your eyes open for that if you're interested, of course. So thank you so very much for spending time with me. And until next time. Take care.